Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite travel accessories that I brought with me on my trip. I was gone for two months, so most of these items are truly tested. So the first thing that I loved during my trip was my mech backpack. It is a 45 liter women's backpack. I bought it right before my trip and I ended up loving it so much. You can stuff so much stuff in here. Say stuff again. You can fit so much stuff in here and because of the waist straps, it never felt too heavy on my back. I know that when you travel, it can feel pretty much chaotic and unorganized. So I try my best to organize my stuff and that makes me feel a little bit better. So the next item are my packing cubes. I've talked about these before. They're not new. Everyone's using them. If you don't have these, where have you been? On the topic of organization, the next thing that I love are these little pouches. You can buy them at Target or Walmart or Winners. Um, I think they're actually for makeup, but I ended up putting my charging cords inside of this one and I had another one for jewelry and I just find when I'm reaching in my bag I know what I'm looking for, where it is, what it's in, and how to find it. Again, being organized, there's nothing that drives me more crazy than the person in front of you at security at the airport who has no sweet clue what's in their bag, their liquids are everywhere. Is this your first time flying? No ma'am, you cannot bring a full-size hairspray. So I have these clear pouches. Um, I believe I just got this one at Walmart. I think some of them come with little travel size products in them already. I ditched that stuff. I put my own stuff in it. And I actually put this right on top of my bag, sometimes right in my purse. And that way when I get to security, I just take it out. It's already in a bag, everything's together. And they are so happy with me. So again, I am all about organization at the airport. My next product I actually got as a gift and I loved it so much. This is actually a passport and document holder. I've used these before, but this one actually has a little spot that you can slip your passport into so it opens it right to your picture page. And as well, a spot over here for your boarding passes, credit cards if you want, and a little spot for a pen. This helps me so much. Your passport doesn't get bent. You always know where your boarding pass is. A couple of in-flight essentials that I thought I would also mention. One of them being these little makeup remover wipes that are actually individually packed. This is by the brand Beauty Concepts. I'll link them below if I can find it. Um, but I just loved being able to have one or two of these in my carry-on on the plane. I don't like to go to the airport with no makeup on whatsoever. But then at some point in the flight, I end up looking like a monster and sometimes you just need a makeup wipe. And these are so handy and they hardly take up any room at all. Next item are my compression socks. Now, I know I look like a dork with these on, but coming from a nurse, you should never fly for more than two hours without your compression socks on. So when you're sitting and your legs are down on the ground, you're at an increased risk for developing DVT or deep vein thrombosis. This is a blood clot in your legs that can be completely avoided by wearing these. It's not a big deal. You can find these at airports or drugstores. Pick them up before you go. They save my life and they also prevent restless leg syndrome, which is common for long flights. Another in-flight accessory is this double headphone port. If you're traveling with someone, a friend, family member, partner, and you feel like watching a movie together, this is awesome because you can watch the movie on the same laptop or the same screen, um, but both have your own headphones. The next in-flight essential are these airplane earplugs. 
They kind of look like little badminton birdies. You just pop these in your ear, I believe a half an hour before you land or take off and they help equalize your ear pressure, which for me is a big deal. So I found these really helpful and I'll definitely bring these with me again. Another item that I used for my entire trip was this handy battery pack phone charger. So you can plug this into the wall to charge the actual device, um, but then it has some USB ports on the side so you can charge your phone, iPad, iPod. Does anyone own an iPod? Another accessory that I always bring with me is this funny looking luggage scale. So you clip your bag or suitcase onto this hook um, and you pick it up and right on the screen it tells you the weight of the bag. I love this because when I get to the airport there's never any surprises for oversized luggage. One of the main things that I was loving during my entire trip was my GoPro. This one is the Hero 5 Black. I'm not sponsored, I just loved my GoPro so much. The actual GoPro itself is waterproof. I took this absolutely everywhere with me. It shot some great footage, especially underwater, and I'm going to be taking this with me on every single trip. Another accessory that I loved for my whole trip was this Turkish beach towel. I also got this for a gift, but I will leave some similar ones down below. If you saw my video where I packed my backpack for one month and then you saw me put this in here, it is giant. I used this for a beach towel, I used this for a picnic blanket, I used it for a scarf. I think I use this every single day of my trip. And last but not least, this is kind of not an accessory, but I just wanted to recommend a book that I read recently. It's called A House in the Sky. It's by Amanda Lindhout. It's actually a true story about a Canadian woman who was kidnapped in Somalia. The book is so captivating, I could not stop reading it. It's very emotional and almost humbling. Um, I am actually reading it right now for the second time and if you are looking for a book to take with you, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It's great especially for people who love to travel. So that is all for my travel accessories today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know what your favorite travel accessories are so that I can try them out on my next trip. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!